Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Habit 1. Start hacking. Imagine looking at a target network or a vulnerable system for the first time. You can read all the articles, watch tutorials and study cybersecurity principles, but to become a skilled hacker, you have to start hacking. Set up a home lab or a virtual environment where you can experiment safely. Start with simple tasks like port scanning or testing basic vulnerabilities. There's no shortcut here. The only way to become a hacker is to hack ethically and responsibly. Set small goals, such as performing a vulnerability scan on a local network or testing SQL injection in a controlled environment. The key is to dive in and build your hands-on skills. You'll encounter errors, misconfigurations and setbacks, but these experiences are where real learning happens. Connect with other beginners to share ideas and troubleshoot together. Also make it a habit to analyze other hacker scripts and techniques. Sites like GitHub are full of open source tools that offer insights into new methods and approaches. Just start, keep going, and gradually take on bigger challenges as you grow. Habit 2. Embrace failure as part of the process. Super Habit 2. Embrace failure as part of the process. In hacking, failure is almost guaranteed. No matter how experienced you are, exploits won't always work, scans might reveal nothing, and payloads can fail. It's easy to get frustrated when things don't work on the first or even the tenth try. However, in hacking, each failure teaches you something valuable. Every error message, denied access attempt, or broken script is an opportunity to understand systems more deeply. Even the best hackers face countless obstacles. The difference is they see failures as steps toward a solution. When you're stuck, rely on resources, search forums, read through documentation, and check online communities for similar issues. Taking breaks is also crucial. Sometimes stepping away from the keyboard gives you a fresh perspective that makes a solution clear. Never hesitate to ask for help. Hacking forums like Hack the Box, Reddit's R Ask Netsec, or even X can be invaluable. Each setback builds your resilience, expands your problem-solving skills, and makes you a better hacker. Habit 3. Cultivate the belief that every system is hackable. One thing that separates skilled hackers from beginners is the belief that every system has vulnerabilities. It's just a matter of finding them. This mindset isn't built overnight. It grows with each vulnerability you identify, each misconfiguration you exploit, and each bypass you figure out. Seasoned hackers understand that most systems, no matter how secure they appear, have weaknesses. Even if you hit a wall, there's always a way forward with patience, creativity, and persistence. When facing tough defenses, take a deep breath and keep looking. Often, the solution is hidden in unexpected places or requires a slight adjustment to your approach. Cultivating this confidence helps you stay determined even when an exploit doesn't work. With time, you'll develop an instinct for identifying patterns and weaknesses. Keep the mindset that every locked door has a key, you just need to find it. Habit 4. Master and use proven tools. Super Habit 4. Master and use proven tools. As a hacker, you don't always need to reinvent the wheel. Make it a habit to use and master proven, reliable tools in the cybersecurity field. Tools like Nmap, Burp Suite, Metasploit and Wireshark have become industry standards for a reason. They're powerful, well-documented, and trusted by professionals. Spend time understanding not just how to run these tools, but also their most effective commands and configurations. This will make your work more efficient and increase your success rate in penetration tests and security assessments. Many people struggle to figure out where to start or which commands to use when diving into hacking. That's why having a roadmap is crucial. 
Mastering proven tools like Nmap, Metasploit, and Burp Suite can feel overwhelming without structured guidance. To help with this, I've put together the A No Fluff Actionable Guide filled with top commands and techniques used by professionals to make your hacking more efficient and effective. You can find the link in the description to download your copy and level up your hacking game. Habit 5. Strengthen your technical foundations. Super. Habit 5. Strengthen your technical foundations. To be a well-rounded hacker, you need a solid understanding of networking operating systems and the protocols that systems rely on. Many attacks exploit flaws in these fundamental areas, so the better you understand them, the more effective you'll be at finding vulnerabilities. Start by learning the TCP, IP stack, ports, and services. Master protocols like HTTP, DNS, and SSH. Once you know how they work, you'll be able to spot their weaknesses. Also, get comfortable with both Windows and Linux operating systems. Many vulnerabilities are OS-specific, so being proficient with both gives you an edge. Invest time in understanding the foundations because that knowledge will make every other hacking technique easier to learn. A solid technical base also makes it easier to identify uncommon vulnerabilities, adapt to new environments, and apply more advanced techniques. By following these five essential habits, starting hacking, embracing failure, believing every system is hackable, mastering proven tools, and strengthening technical foundations, you'll build the skills and mindset needed to become a proficient ethical hacker. Now get started, stay persistent, and keep hacking ethically and responsibly.